एम शर्मा टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ एजुकेशन इज इंडेक्स नंबर द वेरी फर्स्ट लेसन ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिक सब्जेक्ट ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड ट्वेल्व गुजरात बोर्ड फ्रेंड्स आई विल बी कंटिन्यूसली पोस्टिंग वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू स्टैंडर्ड ट्वेल्थ कॉमर्स ऑफ अकाउंटेंसी एंड ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिक्स सो इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल दैन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन बटन सो दैट यू कैन गेट द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ माई नेक्स्ट वीडियोज सो फ्रेंड्स विदाउट वेस्टिंग द टाइम लेट्स स्टार्ट friends this is very easy chapter and from the view point of board exam its weightage is 12 marks which is divided in sections a b c d and f in section e no question is asked from this chapter in section a one question is asked for one marks in section b one question is asked for one marks in section c one question is for two marks in section d one question is for three marks no question in section e and in section f one question is asked for five marks so 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 2 10 11 and 12 so total weightage of this chapter is 12 marks so by reading the name of this chapter the first question arises in our mind what is index number so friends to understand the meaning of index number we divide the word index number into two parts index and number friends you are familiar with the word index in simple words index means to indicate to indicate something and uh, number means we know number means simple numbers so in simple words we can say index number means a number which indicates something friends you know this finger this finger is called index finger what is the use of this finger it indicates something it point out something so the word index number means the number which indicates something uh, you have uh, heard this word Uh, in your notebook and in your textbook also index is given what is the use of that index that indicate that index also indicates that the particular topic the particular chapter you can find on the particular page so index means to indicate so the number which indicates something is called index number friends uh, this meaning was very simple it cannot be written in exam it was just to understand the word index number uh, so we understand it in a better way friends in our routine life we oftenly see that the price of commodities uh, the de the demand of commodities the supply of commodities import export uh, birth rate death rate education ratio these all are variables they are never fixed they gets change according to time as the time pass these variable also gets change so we have to measure the changes in these variables for the future planning so to find out the changes uh, happen in the uh, in these variables we have to compare the prices of two different time periods or for two different years that uh, i explain through one example so friends for comparison we need two time periods past time or past year and present time or present year the past time or past year is also known as base year friends base year price is indicated by p0 means whenever we see p0 we will We uh, we will think that P zero means price of base year, and uh, present time is called current year, and the price of current year is called P one means whenever we will see uh, P one, we understand that it is price of current year. So friends, to find out the changes or variations in those variables, we have two different methods. first method of absolute measure and second method of relative measure 
method of absolute measure is also known as method of difference and method of relative measure is also known as method of ratio let's have an example to understand these methods very clearly friends in this table you can see that two items are given wheat and rice and their prices of two different years is given year 2019 and for year 2020 in the two in the year 2019 the price of wheat was 24 and in 2020 the price of wheat was uh, wheat is 30 of rice in 2019 the price of rice was 40 and in 2020 it is 46 so to understand uh, the difference in both the uh, methods of measurement we calculate the changes with the help of both the methods so friends first of all i am going to solve uh, from the method uh, of as per absolute method uh, as we know uh, absolute method is also known as difference method so to find out the changes in price of wheat we need p1 minus p0 p1 means price of current year as we have discussed that current year is 2020 it is our present year the price of current year is 30 and price of base year is 24 so p1 minus p0 we found the difference rupees 6 in the same way for price of rice changes in the price of rice p1 is 46 and uh, p0 is 40 so uh, the difference we got rupees 6 same uh, now as per the relative method the relative method is known as method of ratio so we have to take the ratio of the prices so changes in prices of wheat is equal to p1 upon p0 p1 was uh, 30 and p0 was 24 so the ratio is 1.25 and changes in price of rice is p1 upon p0 and that is 46 upon 40 and it is 1.15 so the calculation in both the methods is different friends in both of these methods we will use only relative method because absolute method is not used in index number so our main question was what is index number so friends if relative change is converted into percentage then it becomes index number means if you want to find index number you have to convert the price relative into 100 and uh, friends we know clearly that to convert in percentage we have to multiply the ratio with 100 so price relative is multiplied by 100 then we can get index number so our index number formula is i i stands for index number i is equal to p1 upon p0 that is price relative and it is multiplied by 100 then it becomes the index number let us understand uh, this formula with the help of the same example that we had discussed earlier uh, so friends uh, index number for wheat if we want to find we have seen that in that example price of current year p1 was rupees 30 and price of base year p0 was 24 so p1 upon p0 multiplied by 100 when we put the value 30 divided by 24 into 100 we will get 125 and index number for rice same method p1 is equal to 46 p0 equal to 40 so index number is equal to p1 upon p0 into 100 46 divided by 14 into 100 we will get 115 so friends we conclude that percentage change in price relative or quantity relative is called index number friends our next topic is general index number what is general index number so if we find common index number for the given all items together then it becomes general index number in other words the average of index numbers of different commodities is known as general index number let us understand with the example before that uh, note down the formula of general index number that is total index number divided by number of items now we take the same example that we have discussed in our example if we find general index number of wheat and rice so friends 
uh, we had just found the index number of wheat that was 125 and index number of rice that was 115. So general index number is equal to total of index number means 125 plus 115 and divided by number of items we have two items so the total is 240 which is divided by 2 so our general index number is 120 so whenever it is asked to uh, general index number then we find index number for each item we add the index number of all the items and divide the sum with number of items friends our next most important topic is characteristics of index number it is very important question from the viewpoint of board exam if they ask the theoretical question this is one of the favorite question of board examiners so please pay attention and remember the characteristics of index number friends the first characteristic is as index number is a relative measure it is free from units friends in absolute method we find the difference so we could say that the price of wheat is increased by rupees 6 but in relative method we find the ratio so we will say that the price of wheat is increased by sorry it is increased 1.25 times means in index number the answer of index number we will never write any unit before that or after that like rupees kilogram gram nothing just simple we will find the number whatever it is suppose 130 then 130 125.25 means 125.25 we will never write any unit with the answer of index number it is free from the units second characteristics is index number is a comparative measure friends we know that we find index number for the comparison only so it is useful for comparison third characteristic is index number is a relative measure showing percentage change friends as we have already discussed that percentage change in price relative is called index number so index number is that which is relative change and the last characteristic is index number is a special average it has all characteristics of an average friends we just have understood that general index number general index number is find out with the help of average only so general index number is also one kind of index number and it possesses all the characteristics of an average friends one more uh, very good question for the viewpoint of board exam is characteristics of an ideal base year or which things will you keep in mind while selecting a base year the first characteristic is it should be a standard or a normal year then question arises what is a normal year so friends normal year is such a year which is free from the natural or man-made calamities natural calamities like flood earthquake tsunami etc and man-made calamities like riot strike uh, change of government any of these events if happen in a year that year cannot be taken as a base year like in 2020 uh, we have coronavirus affected uh, this year so 2020 can never be taken as a base year second it should not be a remote past year remote past year means it should not be very far uh, far year suppose we are in 2020 then uh, maximum up to 2015 we can take uh, as a base year and third it is if it is difficult to find a base year then we will take average of some past year's price uh, can be taken as a base year suppose in 2000 we are in 2020 in 2019 we have riots in 18 we have flood in 2017 government changed in 2016 earthquake affected so in uh, this kind of situations uh, we take uh, we cannot uh, take any year as a base year so we take average of some uh, past year like 2019 18 17 as a base year so friends we stop here today uh, in my next video I will continue this chapter so till then stay at home and keep studying